so this is the kayak rack that I had a friend of mine weld for me that I designed. This here is the bottom piece and you can see that top part will expand in and out so if you've got different different depths of kayaks you can adjust those. And there's also if you look in here there's some little uh, uh, ringlets, little chain link there and again right here and that's so you can hook a uh, like a rubber um, bungee cord that'll keep tension on that. These are the two braces that are going to go at the bottom to help with the weight because the bottom is going to carry most of the weight. And this is just the top stabilizer bar and there's also a couple of chain links on that as well here and here and that's so you can hook a strap up to it and you can strap those those uh, kayaks in so they can't move. So now the fun part is we're going to be putting that on the back of this and this is a fiberglass shell at the back and there's actually a gap in between so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drill pilot holes and see what's in behind and then we're going to go pick up the the uh, hardware we'll need to attach this. Okay, so we're going to mark these holes. these holes and see what's in behind them. Well, we got some wood there. I'll leave that wood, we can do flag bolts there. Everybody needs a little wood. I know, right? couple up up top we're gonna have to get the hardware and screw these in before we figure out where the other holes are gonna be. Try not to show my belly if you would please. So it's not wood laminated to the fiberglass. Alrighty. Now we have to go get us some hardware. Did you get it? I think so. So there's the top bar, folks. Unfortunately, that bar doesn't actually have to carry any weight. All it's got to do is just stabilize it. And there's two chain links here that will strap between to hold the, hold the kayaks in place. That was the easy part. Actually, that was the hard part. This won't be the easy part. Go ahead. I'm going to put bungees between here and here. That'll hold the tension in. i got to brace these up here. But, we're gonna need some longer bolts here, so let's see what I got. So we've got the bottom attached. Uh, we got the top attached. We had to use blind uh, toggle bolts for that. There was no way to get up there. Uh, this shell is actually hollow in behind here. There's about a foot of space in back behind. Um, we hit the wood that's embedded in the fiberglass here, so we were able to use lag bolts here. And then down here what we did was we uh, uh, just used straight bolts. When I designed this, I knew that most of the weight and the tension was going to be on these bottom bars. There's another piece that's going to go on here that will come out that can move in and out. 
that's a lot of torque and this is where all the weight's going to be for the kayaks so what we did was i had him uh, weld in these pieces here i did not have him go ahead and drill the holes for it because there was no telling with all the different radiuses and everything exactly where that uh, was going to end up so i had to make that and then once we got it in place now we're just going to drill this hole here we've already got this one installed we'll drill this hole here and attach this and then really the only thing left to do is put the put the face back on uh, the piece that comes out here and we'll start loading up kayaks you have to cut that piece to fit though right yeah the the, uh, the guy that welded this up for me he made the, the arms that go inside here a little too long and so we're going to see how much of that we have to cut off but we're going to wait until we get the kayaks up and make sure that we don't cut too much off so let's get this drill first Have the bolt and for these I bought stainless steel bolts just so I don't have these rusting on me when I'm out here running down the side of the rig oh I'm missing a wash get it. Now we'll put the end piece, the tail piece back on. If you can't tell from all the blue tape, in the midst of all this we found out that the trim back here was coming off, so put a little die core on there and tape it back on. And get this the right direction. Hopefully this all still lines up. There we go. And that's as far in as that's going to go right now because of those bolts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to load the kayaks on, strap them in, and then we'll see how much of this uh, excess here I need to cut off. So, be right back. <laughs> I can tell you right now, the ones we rented were a lot lighter. Holy cow, I think he's gonna make it. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful! That's a great design, babe. Looks like we're gonna need to take about an inch off. So we'll probably take two inches off so we have a little bit of play. But just for giggles, let's go ahead and strap it in place. Okay, we got her up there. We still need to take about two inches off of this bar, so this will slide in a little farther. Um, but the nice thing about this is the bottom cradles it, and it'll fit different sizes of kayaks, just depending on, on what size you got. Uh, we do have some pool noodles that we're going to put on the outside here, to kind of keep the bar and these boats up a little bit. Um, and then we got a strap on the top, as you can see, they, they can't really move. Once this gets cinched in, and we put budgies from here to here to keep that pulling up against it, this thing can't go anywhere. So the nice thing is, is the bottom's not hanging out much farther than the bottom of the of the rig. By the time I get the, uh, the needles on here, it'll actually sit up a little higher, and then I think we'll stick up about 10 inches off the top once it's all done. Uh, so that'll that shouldn't be enough. That'll still be in the shadow of the. The air flowing over the rig. So I think we got it. <laughs> 